I'd like to say I don't know what that voice on the other end of the phone sounds like, but I don't like to lie. Bad news bruises the heart, leaves scars like tattoos, except only tracing the empty parts, the negative spaces, places where you once walked in the same world that I did. Now I'm wearing the soles of your, the soles of your shoes thin, thinking if I walk, run, stomp, Hard enough, maybe I can pull your soul back up through the concrete into my aching feet, straight for this hole in my chest. It's grown since you left. Keep thinking if I hold tight enough to your amethyst around my neck, I can believe that I can still feel your breath, believe in some kind of life after death. But now I can't wear your shoes in the winter because my feet get wet. And your jeans are thinning at the seams, threatening to rip. But I can't get rid of your clothes, even the ones that don't fit, because I can't stand the thought of someone else wearing them not knowing that the cloth once touched the skin of one of the most amazing people to have ever lived. And I know I'm not supposed to be attached to material things, but when that's all I have left of someone I loved, the only tangible thing I can touch, don't fucking tell me I should give that up. My big sister, not by blood, but by love, I always looked up to you. And I still do accept now when I look up, I see ceiling fans and telephone wires. If I squint, I might see a bird fly by, but I don't believe in heaven. And sometimes I wish I did, because it'd be easier to think that you're happy somewhere. All of you. Waiting for the rest of us, testing us, teasing us. If there really were a gathering of all the departed, it'd be one hell of a party, because most of the lives of the party are dead, and those of us left are trying like hell to hold on, but damn. Sometimes our dams can't stand the pressure. The texture of our tears carves dark circles under our eyes, multiplies years in our lines. We cry in the dark because we think no one will understand because to name it makes it realer than even we can stand. We walk through our days, don't talk about the pain. So many faces faking, painstakingly making nice while inside is shaking. We talk about the weather, the economy, life, but not about how scared we are to die. We don't dare share all the things gone wrong, all the lives we've lost. We think the world's not ready to take on our ache with the weight of everything else. That's what we tell ourselves as we sink slowly under. Under the covers, under each other, under the weather, under the feathers of someone else's wings, we cling to distractions and attractions. Maybe we could forget if we could just get laid enough, if we could just get paid enough, if we're tough enough, if we get fucked up enough. Maybe if we believed in heaven, We'd be eager to leave here to get in. Or maybe we'd be patient and wait, knowing that our time would be the right time. But I don't buy that shit, and neither does she, so we go on believing there's nothing to believe in. But our hearts keep beating, pleading with us to love, and art keeps feeding us, stirring our blood, making us come together in moments of yes, yes, uh -huh. There's music that plucks notes from our bones, breaking beats like bread to feed our hungry hips. There's songs that form saliva on lips too dry to speak. Poetry that weaves breath back into life. The, sorry. Poetry that breathes life back into words and depth into text that wind their way through our spinning minds towards some kind of understanding. There's your hand on mine. Reminding me that time is fleeting, always leaving us behind, but we have this. We have this moment, and hopefully the next. And I won't hold my breath, but maybe I'll learn to accept death, or at least acknowledge its presence as part of life, and know that I've lived mine doing the best that I could. And maybe, just maybe, next time death sneaks up from behind, I'll have the courage to open my arms up wide, breathe in through my heart and out through my mind, Find that steady place inside where I can face my sorrow and embrace the terrifying truth of tomorrow. <laughs>